Check when ready. Okay, so Jeffrey, thanks for speaking to us today. Uh, just kind of rampage. It feels like a bit of a departure from your role as Negan on The Walking Dead. Was that kind of part of the reason you took it? I mean, sure. I, I think I'll do anything to uh, take a break from the Negan of it all because, um, you know, that character has sort of now defined my career. Uh, people have forgotten everything that I did before, um, so hopefully I can find something to do after that can that help me with, uh, you know, getting out of Negan mode. So certainly, but I think the real reason I did this more than anything was uh, to do a big old monster movie with Dwayne Johnson. I mean, that's, that's the honest to God truth. And I was shooting both at the same time. I was still we were shooting the movie and we, I was shooting Walking Dead at the same time, um, which was kind of fun. I mean, I, I saw the movie and I'm like, ooh, there's a little bit of Negan in that guy. You know, I could, I could see it. Um, but that's what happens when you're doing two roles mm. at the same time and not sleeping. I mean, I read that you've kind of been, the fans have come up to you in the street and said stuff about Negan to you. Do you, do you hope this oh, film yeah. might kind of have people saying nice things to you now? I mean, sure. I, 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 although I don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I don't mind people like hating me. Um, I mean, that's, that's, uh, I play uh, uh, a villain on, on a television show that people are very passionate about. Um, I would have it no other way. Um, I, I don't mind people hating me. I, I expected it going in and, and uh, it doesn't bother me now. Um, and a movie like this, sure. I mean, you, you hope people respond to the character. I think this character was, uh, it, it, when I read it, I thought that it was, it was kind of my favorite character in the script to begin with. Um, and then Brad and working with him and kind of, uh, you know, bringing more and more to it as we talked and kind of this sense of cockiness and um, sense of humor and then, lucky enough to have a lot of chemistry with Dwayne and it just worked out um, and he was a fun character to play so yeah hopefully people will see you know but, but you know you deal with people also that think that like The Walking Dead is a documentary like they really think that I go around like killing people it's, it's, a, it's a weird world to be in what was The Rock like to work with? awesome I wish I could say that he was less than, um, but for years I've been, you know, uh, Bo Flynn who produced this movie. This is my third movie with Bo, and I think Dwayne has done six with him. So for years we've been talking about trying to do something together because Bo was like, you guys are like, you know, two peas in a pod. You know, you're both huge, strong, physically attractive. <laughs> Same physique, mm. um, but it, it, what, what really said was that you guys would really get along. Same kind of sensibilities and sense of humor, um, and so this finally came about, and we were able to kind of work the schedule. Um, and I had huge high expectations for him because I've been hearing for years about kind of how amazing he was, and you know we all know Dwayne Johnson from his films and his interviews and kind of what he is out there doing for the community. And it's all good stuff. And it's sort of like, come on, there's gotta be some cracks in the armor somewhere. And there isn't, I mean, what you see is what you get. And he met those expectations and, and went beyond them. Um, I honestly don't know how he is able to do all the stuff he is able to do. It's hard enough to be the number one movie star in the world, but he also is producing 20 things. He's doing SNL in the middle of shooting a movie. He's, you know, doing a whole Apple campaign. He's got his, you know, Reebok stuff. He gets up at three in the morning to work out every day, and he's an amazing family man. Mm. I can't do one of those things well. So do you think he'd make <laughs> a good president? Do I think he'd make a good president? I, I'd sure as hell give him a shot, yeah. And who? Just a hypothetical, just to finish. Um, who would win in a fight between oh. one duck-sized, what, ten duck-sized horses? Or ten duck-sized horses? Yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny horses, horses. And one giant horse-sized duck. I would have to go with the horse-sized duck. Why? Uh, because he could step on the tiny horses. That's a good point. Yeah, because yeah, I got ducks. 
Yeah. I have ducks and they run my farm. I have two ducks that my dogs are scared of and my dogs are big. I have two little ducks that are bosses. Okay. Well, yeah. I think, I think there you go. Good.